How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 franchise rebuild. Uh, someone in my comments on one of my uh, most recent, more recent videos, uh, my last Minecraft video actually, said we're going to do more MLB The Show rebuilds and I said I didn't really have any ideas but I did think of an idea so we're going to do an idea, you know Madden's coming out soon so I definitely want to do some NFL rebuilds. If you guys like the NFL, like football, uh, be prepared for that, it should be a lot of fun. But we're going to be doing today in MLB The Show one the ultimate rebuild ultimate fa ultimate fantasy draft challenge it's not really gonna be a challenge but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have legends we'll do fantasy draft and essentially what i'm gonna do is uh turn off budgets so we can we're this is like the imagination just run wild and i just want to see like who's really good in the league and and, kind of, and, and just kind of see like the stats and stuff so that's kind of what we're gonna do uh because uh yeah i'm kind of curious but anyways if you guys are liking the content please leave a like subscribe comment on some more videos if that being said let's get down to the gameplay all right so i'm thinking i'm just gonna pick a random team so we'll, here we go i could select all actually huh you know i didn't know that maybe we'll do that because I kind of just want to see, like, what the stats will be around the league. And, like, with Legends and, and stuff like that. I don't know. Do you want to see me do trades? I'm, I don't know. Maybe. I'm contemplating. I'm contemplating. Because I kind of just want to see, like, the stats. But. Uh, nah. We'll, we'll pick a random team. We'll pick a random team. We'll actually try to see if we can win. So here we go. 3, 2, 1. I clicked. And Cardinals. Cool. All right, so GM contracts that could be on probably do like two or three seasons. I'm really sure how much we'll do. Fantasy draft on, legend free agent on. TV rosters, legend manager rosters for all CBU teams. So I can keep that on. Interesting. That's weird. Why would I, why would I do that? Uh, budgets on, and then everything else here is fine. So uh, we're just gonna advance and let's just see where we pick. So here we go. First pick. I'll probably show like the first. 10 picks and then uh, actually do i want to have the cpu draft for me no i'll pick i'll pick i'll pick like a few guys um well, i'm gonna pick cal repkin so we'll start with him and then we will uh pick um another player uh gotta go with yadi or molina right like i mean cardinals it just wouldn't make sense if we had not didn't have yadi or molina so uh, so, uh, I'm just gonna simulate, like, the first, uh, few picks, or show you guys the first few picks, and then, um, I'm probably gonna just simulate the rest of the draft. I'm gonna go with Craig Biggio here. I'm gonna go with the legendary Bob Gibson. Play on the Cardinals, so. Hi, Willie Mays here. Gotta go with Willie Mays. I'm gonna get Christy Mathewson, 99 overall. Might as well. Alright, they go to pick up Willie Stargell. Uh, be our first baseman. He's actually a really good hitter. A lot of power. Eric Gagne, another, uh, well, he's he's technically a reliever, because I feel like Christy Matheson is a starter. I don't know why he's listed as a reliever in this game, but nevertheless, Eric Gagne, welcome to the squad. I'm going to get Chipper Jones, just because he's here, and he's a switch hitter, and he, well, he doesn't play anything else but third. Now, we're going to pick Chipper. Got to pick Chipper. All right, so I'm going to probably pick, um... The, the the this is gonna be my last pick so i'm gonna go with lou brock and then i'm just gonna let the cpu simulate out the rest of the draft so i'm kind of curious to just see like uh what ro uh who's on my team so if i look at the lineup so we got lou brock they picked lorenzo kane chipper jones really star gel uh cal Rickman jr willie mays yachty merlina craig biggio cal tucker okay i mean hey solid lineup if i've ever seen one max dazi eric gonzalez cam gallagher jackie bradley jr kind of like our bench Okay, not bad. Pitching we're doing, we got Bob Gibson, Corey Kluber, uh, Ramon Marquez, JC Cloney, Matthew Boyd. Um, and then we've got Jacob Junis, or Jakob Junis. I think it's, is it Jakob or Jacob? I think it's Jacob. Uh, where is that? Illinois, yeah, Jacob. Uh, Ryan Star uh, Stanek. Uh, then we got Phil, uh, Phil Maiden, uh, Paul Fry, Richard uh, Blyer, Eric Gagne, Kenley Jansen. And Christy Matthews in pretty good, pretty good, pretty good stuff. I mean, 
back button of the bullpen is a lot better than the front. I don't know, the pitching's a little bit, uh, the pitching's mid, but you know what, I think we have a solid team. I'm actually curious to see if I can even make any trades. I don't think I even can. I probably can, because there's budget, there's no budget, but suppose I want to trade for Cy Young. Like, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make any moves, unless, like without trading like my best players. I mean, maybe I can get like some decent players, but nothing like too out there. Yeah, no, okay. I was like looking at trades. There's really nothing interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna see if we can win uh, with this team. So I'm just gonna see the trade deadline, uh, show you guys the stats, see the league leaders, and yeah, go from there. So we're kind of near the trade deadline. We're actually not, we're not that we're not that good, but at the same time, we're only three and a half games back because every team is like really good. So the, the Brewers are the number one team in the NL Central, but we're only three and a half games out. That's kind of crazy. I mean, honestly. Yeah, really no one is bad in the NL. Like, the worst team is 41, win uh, 41 wins. So really anyone's in it. I mean, the Angels are the only team that is, I guess, really bad, per se. Like, they are terrible. How did the Angels get... Where I don't even know where the Angels picked, but that's, like, really bad. Like, who was on their team? I'm kind of curious to see uh, why they're so bad, because that kind of just doesn't make any sense, so... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Oral High, uh, Oral Hershizer, Don Sunway, Boggs. Yeah, this team isn't that great. Especially the team with, like, full of legends and stuff. It kind of just doesn't make any sense why they're, you know, I mean, yeah, they're not, they're not good. They're not good. Okay, so let's take a look at the stats. I'm kind of just curious to see, like, league leaders, so we can kind of just look at this. So Justin Turner is, for some reason, leading the league in batting average. Um... Okay. Uh, Barry Larkin has most hits. Uh, we actually want to look at NL, uh, AL. Uh, Todd Helton. Okay. Todd Helton. This is just like the top eight. I'll show you guys like the top eight and stuff. Batting war. Uh, pitching war. Whip. Walks. Wow. Only 20 walks for Jacob deGrom. This is a legend, Jacob deGrom. This is like... Wait. Th like what Jacob deGrom is this? Is this like his like third year? So this would be like here, or maybe like this year. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, okay, I'm just like looking. If you guys want to see, like, look at this Frank Tanana, uh, Cy Young with three shutouts. I mean, makes sense, right? Cy Young. Uh, I'm just looking at the the stats here. Okay, twelve. I'm gonna have to switch because um, I'm only showing the AL right now. But I, I'm just looking at the teams and the stats. And Frank Thomas, almost a 4,100 season for him. He is absolutely killing it. Um, so let's look at the NL really quick. See how people are doing here. Tatis. And just looking to see, like, mostly legends are in the top. Which, I mean, makes sense, right? Obviously. We got a young Albert Pujols. This is, like, 21 years old. So he was, like, what? This was, like, here, I think. Like, around here. Yeah, like it's like second or third, uh, second or third year, I believe, even maybe even younger. But yeah, like he was like early on in his career, so. But yeah, I'm like looking at this, so yeah, like you know, great size, more Larkin. Okay, I mean, yeah, nothing too surprising. Look at Mickey Mantle, the 727 slugging. That's crazy, young Mickey Mantle. Um, and then we've got John Smoltz, 10 wins, Pedro Martinez, least amount of losses. Yeah, mostly legends. Um, Verlander's 2.74 yard. Good for you, Verlander. Uh, Vita Blue and Pedro Martinez. A little shutout. A little shutout for Johnson. Zach Plezak. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing. Kershaw. This is, uh, regular Kershaw, too. Yeah, and 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 Ryu. Look at that. Oh my God, guys! Like some of these guys are just like really good, regardless of whether or not they're legends. I mean, okay. So I'm kind of surprised. I don't think you can build a stack team. Maybe free agency. I'll see what I can do. Um, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna sim uh, the rest of the season, and I'll see you guys uh, once we get to the maybe the postseason. See if we make it. But otherwise, I'll just show you guys the stats. 
All right, so I simulated to the end of the season. We only went 70, 75 and 87, so we didn't make the postseason. We got a lot of work to do uh, to win this ultimate fantasy draft challenge uh, because the teams are just really, really good. So free agency is kind of where I'm going to once again cheat and try to sign as many people as I can. So, which could be hard because everyone else has an unlimited budget. Um, but let's take a look at our like team. I didn't show you guys the stats of our team, by the way. I kind of forgot to do that, but that's fine. Um, just looking at the stats. I mean, for the most part, the team is pretty good. I mean, hitting wise, look like offense didn't seem to be the problem. I mean, I mean, besides Jackie Bradley, but he didn't really play that much. So even then, it's like, I mean, the only one that maybe was like, even then, really, yeah, and I mean, said that, yeah, everyone did kind of decent in the pitching rotation. I mean, Bob Gibson, not bad. I mean, the pitching rotation was a bit weak. Like that, yeah, that was probably the problem. Actually, that was the problem. Looking at this, bullpen was also not that good either. Uh, which is, you know, again, to be expected, but we're going to have to sign some people. Let's take a look at the uh, standings. I'm kind of curious to see those. And we're also going to take a look at the awards. I'm not going to look at, like, the league leaders again. Uh, but just quickly look at the standings if you guys want to see them. Um, I'm curious to see, like, who the worst team was. Probably the Angels, yeah. They're the only team that didn't win 70 games. Uh, the Red Sox had a 98 wins, so they had a must have the best team. I mean, theoretically speaking, or maybe not, you know. You don't know. Lou Brock went NL Rookie of the Year. Okay, so he was a rookie, I guess. So just looking at some of the awards here. So Ernie Banks was the MVP. Uh, look at that. Interesting stuff there. Ernie Banks had a really good year. Uh, Chipper Jones, this Chipper Jones, uh, was in the running as well. Wow, Nationals had two MVP candidates. And Edgar Martinez on the Diamondbacks, who I, I, I would think the Diamondbacks wish they could have a, a prime Edgar Martinez on their team right now. I don't know how many more wins that would actually give them but you know they, they could use all the help that they can get uh frank thomas with a i would want it oh, almost a triple crane he only had 54 home runs but still and even then the average was not high but either way uh, if anything stan usual was close to a 50 crown or a triple crown i mean because he had 55 and 140 yeah a good year for him just looking at mvp you got cy young kind of just look at the these rewards so Peter martinez shane bieber batting titles Cliff Floyd and, and Justin Turner. Um, weird how there was no reliever. The weird, wow, I didn't know that was a thing. They, no one did it. Okay. Wait, was that only in the NL or? Okay, in the AL, there's. Okay, that's really weird. That is really weird. Okay, I've never seen that before. Um, wow. Okay. So I'm not gonna show all the I'm not gonna show all the rewards, but yeah, that, I've never seen that. I've never seen a reward where someone just like didn't qualify. Like doesn't make any sense. Phillies won the World Series. Uh, I believe they beat the Astros. I think that's what it said. Yeah, Phillies beat the Astros six games. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next season. We're gonna do some simulation or free agency signings. So let's get on into that. All right, guys. So looking at the free agents and. There's a plethora of free agents here that I can go after. So what do I need? That's the real question. So, um, well, I'm just going to sign as many people as I can. So here we go. All right, so here we go. This is where the fun begins. So if we get Fergie Jenkins, nice. We get Jeff Bagwell, nice. We get Joe Morgan, nice. If we don't get Fernando Valenzuela. I need pitching. So that's a little annoying, but we do get Brett Saberhagen. That's good. Uh, George Brett goes to the Dodgers. Nolan Ryan, the Twins. Okay, Vladimir Guerrero doesn't come to the house. He goes to the Nationals, which is a little annoying because I need a right fielder. Ivan Andrew, the Pirates. Eddie Murray, the Astros. Fernando Zorro goes to the Giants. The bastard. We get Brooks Robinson. Cool. Babe Ruth. Hey, that's helpful. Uh, Willie Mays going to the Orioles. Interesting. Uh, okay, some trades. We get Ryan Braun. Uh... So, he'll also bring the needles. Uh, Gary Carter uh, is uh, going to the Dodgers. Rich Gossage, a.k.a. Goose Gossage, is going to the Brewers. Jim Palmer to the Phillies. Robin Roberts to the Cubs. So, with Prince Fielder and Ramon Mongols. The, okay, we got Ryan Sandberg. Notorious to the Indians. We'll cover the... Uh, or Guardians. What, I don't know. Indians, Guardians. They're still the Indians. Cleveland. There you go. Uh, Edgar Martinez um, 
is uh, going to the Yankees. Interesting signing there. Harold Baines to the Rays. Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh, that's, that's a sexy signing for me. Uh, yeah, we basically just offered as many people as I could. Contracts. I don't know if we're going to get anyone else. And even if we do... I don't know. Do we, who else do we need? Ah, oh, we need a right fielder. So we might as well sign a right fielder. Reggie Jackson, why don't you come onto the team? You know you want to. Uh, so, let's see if he comes. 44 players. Auto fix. Simple. We do get Reggie Jackson. Nice, we needed that. Weird feeling that some of the guys that I signed ended up getting dropped. Is it fine? I mean, sure, but I would have liked to have kept uh, Babe Ruth because I could tell we did not keep him. Yeah, because he got he. I saw like uh, when I was simulating, got dropped, weighed by us, and he signed with the White Sox, which is a little annoying, but you know it is what it is. So a much better team. I mean, the lineup was never a problem, but I mean, Ryan Braun, Joe Morgan, Jeff Bagwell, Ken Griffey Jr., Cal Ripken Jr., Reggie Jackson, Brooks Robinson, Ryan Sandberg, and Yadier Molina. It's a pretty stacked lineup with Craig Biggio, Chipper Jones. Lou Brock, Willie Mays here, uh, and then Brock uh, Detheridge, who, is he real? I don't know. But, and then Lorenzo Kane. Okay. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so that's that's cool. Says we're pretty good. So, we're, I'm probably going to do one more season just to see if we can make our team even better. But, I, I'm cool with what we've got right now. I mean, pitching rotation a lot better. The babe, oh, we do have Babe Ruth. Okay. Weird. Oh, maybe there was another Babe Ruth. That's probably why. So we got Babe Ruth, Bob Gibson, Brett Saberhagen, Fergie Jenkins, and uh, Herman Marquez. So uh, you could uh, you could put two and two together. Which, which one's the odd man out? Uh, and then Eric Gagne. We don't have a bullpen. Eric Gagne, Kenley Jensen, and Chrissy Matthewson. I mean, yeah, we're kind of thin on relievers, but hey, it's all good. Uh, so we're gonna simulate. Show you guys the league leaders and maybe maybe the stats. Like when we get to the deadline, just to see who's doing really well. Kind of just go from there. Right, so we're at the trade deadline. Currently 16 and 32. 100 games into the season. And uh, yeah, you can see that we are clearly the best team in our division. Um, let's look at these standings. So, yeah, 68 and 32. We've got 17 up against the Pirates. Uh, in the West, the Dodgers are actually close to us. One more win, but one more loss because they've played two more games. But. Yeah, you can kind of see after this season, you have Nationals, you got the Rays, you got the Angels who still suck. But yeah, you can kind of see there's a little bit less of a gap now since free agency. This is a lot more teams signed people, so people got worse. Um, so yeah, there's a little bit more of a disparity gap, more of a distribution. Not everyone's like close together. So uh, interesting stuff. And I am curious to see like the league leaders. So we're going to check those out right now. So just looking at some of the guys here. So you got George Brett. Robinson Cano. Okay, so if you guys want to see more in depth, you guys can look. But uh, hits. You got Ryan Braun leading lean hits. That's nice to see. Johnny Damon with the leading at bats. And Joel Simmons in the AL. Mini Min Minoso. And then we got Ken Griffey Sr. Okay. Double trouble right there. I'm just looking at the stats and home runs. RBIs. We got Ken Griffey Jr. leading in RBIs. That's nice to see. Joe Morgan with runs. Just scored, and also Ryan Braun as well, so that's nice to see as well. Hey, uh, how about how about Kenny Lofton with friggin' 43 stolen bases, and on base percentage? Jim Edmund is always a guy that like, I feel like had a high on base percentage. Um, he, he had a really good career, Jim Edmonds, I'd say. Um, yeah. Uh, Willie Mays here. Uh, you keep saying Willie Mays. I gotta stop with that. <laughs> I just have to stop. I have to stop, guys. I know. Uh, just looking really quick. If you guys, like I said, want to see, oh, I'm like not going forward. Yeah. Okay. If you guys want to see, I'm just looking at the stats really quickly. You got Bob Gibson with six completed games. You guys can pause these. God, might have went a little bit fast, but hey, all good. Um. So yeah. Mostly legends, which I'm again, I'm not surprised that those are the guys that are at the top of the league leaders list. However, um, I the only thing I'm really lacking right now is uh, relief pitching and the closing pitcher. But uh, I think other than that, we're good. So I'm just gonna simulate. Um, I don't know who we have on contract extensions. Yeah, no one really good here. So 
I got one more season after this, so if I don't win the championship, we will definitely win it next year. We'll win the World Series next year, but I'm just going to simulate and see how we do. I guess we're 60 games over 500. We uh, win our division, taking on the winner of the wildcard playoff game. Not a surprise. I mean, looking at the statistics and state, well, first the standings. I mean, yeah, we were clearly the best team in our division. Dodgers had 107 wins, so Rays were at 100. So, yeah, uh, we are the powerhouse teams, I'd say. Uh, Cardinals, Dodgers, and Rays, but mostly really just us. And I'd say we'll throw the Dodgers in there. They're kind of close to us. I feel like there's like a. Tampa Bay is like 11 wins below us and 7 below the Dodgers. So they're like a slight tier. But still, they're the best team in the AL. So we'll see if they make it all the way. Hopefully we make it all the way too. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, stats here. So we just got Ryan Braun had an amazing season. Uh, Joe Morgan was well. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised that we all hit the ball really well. Uh, which is good. I mean, Brock. How about Brock though? Look at Brock. Getting limited now. We got Albert Pujols. Not the legend Albert Pujols, just the Albert Pujols that is um, on the Dodgers. Current day Albert Pujols. Ah, uh, I was like, look at the pitching rotation. We got Babe Ruth. Solid year from him. I want to curious, curious to see how he hit. He also hit 23 home runs, drove 49 runs. He had a good year. Uh, Bob Gibson, excelente. Brett Saberhagen, good for Jenkins. How about Herman Marquez? Okay, he might be a legend, buddy. Okay, uh, bullpen, uh, yeah, Eric Gagne kind of struggled, wow, okay, a little bit weird to see, but, uh, yeah, everyone, everyone besides, everyone above Eric Gagne was not good, but that's fine, oh, wait, I'm, well, hold on a second, can I go back to that, oh, my God, 42 overall, yikes, I mean, oh, God, okay, hopefully, the rotation can just, pitch the entire time and maybe you put in Christy Matthewson okay like everyone else could just they could take the they take the take 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 off <laughs> okay let's take a look at some of the awards I'm just curious to see like who won uh if we won anything so Christy Matthews doing ran of the year that's nice to see Cy Young Bob Gibson and LMVP Ken Griffey Jr. the kid say hey kid well not to say hey kid but like just a kid uh really amazing to say hey kid I call Kenny Gr Ken Griffey Jr. the kid because the kid he's the son of ken griffey um and then ryan brown with silver slugger so just looking at the al i'm curious to see how won the mvp there william mccovey okay bob gibson cy young chris sale cy young okay nice to see from him and the nl or the al got sam musial and ryan braun reliever of the year okay dennis eckersley and look at us christy matthewson with a fantabulistic season for him so uh, we're just gonna simulate though. I'm, I'm not gonna show you guys all the stats because that's just uh, we could do we do better. So we're taking on the Pirates. I'm just curious to see one more time. What were they? 8478. Okay. Okay, the game can't hate me here, right? Surely not. Um, okay, auto fix. Okay, game one we win. Game two we win. Game three we win. All right, taking on either the Dodgers or the Nationals. Hopefully it's the Nationals. And it's not. That's fine. Game one against the Dodgers we win. Because we're going to win the World Series anyway. Game two, we lose. Okay, never mind. Game three, we lose. Game four, we lose. Game five, we win. And game six, we lose. So we're not winning the World Series. That was a lie. And who are we taking on? Or who are we, who, who are the Dodgers taking on? It's going to be the Astros getting beaten by the Dodgers. So that must feel good. Uh, anyways, we're going to simulate one more year. Because if I don't win a World Series, this is kind of embarrassing. So yeah, here we go. Got to stack up the team. Okay, I'm looking at free agency. It's not that great. I mean, there's some, it's not as good as it what it used to be or what it would have been. But there's still some players here that I could offer. Uh, for example, we're gonna offer Ryan. Uh, we're gonna offer Aaron Nola a little cheeky 15 year deal. Uh, and, and again, guys ask me this all the time. Why do you do this? Because if you look at the interest, right? So notice how I can go seven million for two years. Right? I can do that. He's highly interested. But if I give him a 15-year deal, that means his average annual value, yeah, he still wants $7 million, but what he's looking for is less because he's locked in to a, a deal. So that's why I offer more years and less money. People ask me that all the time, and I, just, I tell them, like, it's just the fact that, you know, it's broken. 
So like that, I offer this, and then they sign. That's why I do it, regardless of age. I, I know it's not realistic, but it works. <laughs> Another thing people have asked me, like, I and I mentioned this already, like, will I be doing more MLB The Show videos? I don't know. Um, maybe I'll do, like, Road to The Show. Because um, for me, I feel like I've done everything I've wanted to do in uh, franchise mode. So, like I said, I'm thinking maybe, like, once other sport games come out, if you guys like other sports, I'll definitely be doing those. But, uh, yeah, I, for me, it's kind of just, like, um, I've done what I've needed to do in MLB The Show and uh, in terms of rebuilding every team. I think maybe in like, what, if I get MLB The Show 22, MLB The 22 Show, what I'll do is I'll space out the rebuilds, so that way I'm not pumping out rebuilds every friggin' day, and then like two months into the game's life, or even less than two months in, I've already done every rebuild. So maybe if I do like every other day, or every two days, every third day, so like rebuild two days of random videos, and then another rebuild, just kind of like space it out. I mean, like two, three videos a week. That way, like, okay, I get through each team. It's probably like four months. Maybe mix it, wrote the show earlier. And then there you go. You got content. So maybe I'll do that for the next time. And for other sports games. Just wanted to mention that as I'm kind of just going through free agency here. I think I've signed everyone I've wanted to. I mean, are there any other people that I'm like looking at? I feel like we really only need bullpen help. So yeah, um, just going to see if we pick up these guys. So get Mo, that's nice. Uh, we get Aaron Nola, cool, another starting pitcher, Raleigh Fingers, Edwin Diaz. Uh, we get Ryan Presley. Oh, that's good to see. And yeah, I mean, everyone else here, I don't know if I just offer these guys arbitration. And they could just be in the minors. But uh, yeah, we're going to go one more year and hopefully we win the World Series. Otherwise, this rebuild, like I said, would be kind of a bit of a failure take a look at what we got here so ryan braun this is weird ryan braun joe morgan reggie jackson kicker jr jeff bagwell coward Ripken jr rianni merlin brooks robinson empty empty so we don't have enough position players okay might have to sign one uh yeah we have a lot of pitchers i i went ham on 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 relief pitching uh but yeah, looking at this, yeah, I don't think we need David Carpenter in our in our bullpen. I think he gets sent down, and we can bring up like a another bat. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I mean, Babe Ruth could also just hit. But then again, you know, the game game's not gonna do that. So yeah, the team is stacked. Um, so I would assume we win, but knowing this game. We might not, but we're going to simulate to the uh, trade deadline, trade guys the stats again, league leaders, and kind of just go from there. Alright, I picked up Cesar Hernandez, we're going to pick up Jose Iglesias, and we're going to pick up Andrew McCutcheon. There we go. Three, three other additional bat, uh, batters. All right, 100 games in at the trade deadline. We're 63 and 37, which we were 16 and 32 last year. So five game drop. Um, and the Pirates are like right near us. So we might not even win our division. Uh, but with that being said, we actually have the best record um, in the MLB, which is kind of weird. But uh, taking a look at our lineups, so I'm just kind of curious to see. I'll just show you guys what, how we're doing so far and who's doing well. Um, I really can't make any trades, but for some reason, this guy is in the majors. I don't know why, uh, but we're going to ignore that. And we got Babe Ruth, who is doing well in his limited amount of time because he's a pitcher um, on the team. However, speaking of pitching, just looking at the rotation, he sucks as a pitcher. This year, but everyone else is doing for the most part decent, except for Brett, a little high on the ERA. But uh, uh, bullpen a lot better. I mean, there's some hit or miss guys here. Like these two guys should not be in the majors. But uh, you know, I digress. And Edwin Diaz is kind of struggling a little bit too. But everyone else is doing well. And I don't really care about contract extensions uh, because, like I said, we're not really 
worried about that. But just taking a look at the uh, lineups here. So Ken Griffey, who... Oh, this is a different Ken Griffey. Yeah. Uh, this is the Mariners Ken Griffey. So, yeah. I'm just looking at the stats. Juan Soto, he is... He's goaded. I'm uh, just looking really quickly if you guys want to see. If anyone stands out here, anything stands out. Got 11 triples from... Was it Paul Molitor? Yeah. Uh, Matt Kemp, 36 home runs. Interesting stuff there. Uh, Jimmy Fox, 97 ribbies. So he's almost there. Got Joe Morgan leading the league in stolen bases. Jeff Bagwell second in... Uh, was that uh, on base plus slugging? Or not on base. Just on base percentage. On base plus slugging. Bryce Harper. Two Bryce Harpers. Look at that. Bryce Harper, Bryce Harper. This is the... Okay, this is the real Bryce Harper. And this is the legend Bryce Harper. I mean, they're both real, but... Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Um, Babe Ruth with 13 wins on the the younger Babe Ruth. Uh, and then, yeah, just looking. 36 saves or Jack. We got, okay. Yeah, I mean, guys, if you want to see the stats, league leaders, you know, top eight at least, you know, you guys can pause and you're more than welcome to take a look at this as we're going to simulate the second half of the season and hopefully win a World Series, like I said, this is the ultimate fantasy draft rebuild, and if I don't win, it's kind of an embarrassment. Number 58. Still won our division, but definitely seven games worse than last year in terms of record. Is that big of a deal? Not really. I'm just taking a look at our stats really quick. I mean, everyone did well for the most part. I mean, Reggie Jackson, a little low on the average, but, you know, it's fine. Ken Griffey, 259. I thought we'd hit, like, 270, 280, but, hey, it's all good. Got Alvin Pujols still nice. That's all that matters, I guess, in the end. I mean, the bench is god-awful. Hopefully none of them have to actually play. Babe Ruth hit the ball really well. Uh, hopefully he pitched well in the second half. Uh, he did not. Uh, but for the most part, the rotation is solid. Um, Brett Sabrian, he already a little bit high, but, you know, for his standards. Uh, Herman Marquez not, didn't pitch that much, uh, probably because he wasn't in the pros. And I'm just looking at the bullpen. Uh, there's some guys there that are a little bit scary. Uh, bullpen's a little bit thin. Christy Matthews in only one in six. Yikes. But uh, let's take a look at the awards. I'm kind of curious to see how we did. So Bob Gibson uh, for us won the Cy Young. And also Bruce Robinson with Gold Glove. That's nice to see. MVP, we got two Bryce Harpers in the running. And the current day Bryce Harper wins the MVP. So he, he's honestly really good uh, in, in the simulations. So it's nice to see. Bob Gibson with the Cy Young. Nolan Ryan the Cy Young in the AL. And uh, Bryce Harper, batting title. And then Tony Gwynn, 363. Uh, Lee Smith, reliever. Jack Morris, reliever. And uh, rookies, we don't care about them. Hank Aaron Award, Bryce Harper. Hank Aaron did not win the Hank Aaron Award. And Cy Young did not win the Cy Young. It's a little bit embarrassing, is it not? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, guys. So we're going to simulate postseason, take on the, ba -ba -bum -ba -bum, the Dodgers. And I accidentally clicked Sim everything. So, okay. We win the NLDS, and <laughs> we're taking on either the Diamondbacks Phillies. I'm going to stop. Okay, Diamondbacks. All right. I wanted to actually show you guys the standings, and I forgot to do that, but uh, just to see if we were actually the best team. And uh, yeah, we were the only team that won 100 games, so we should win, but you never know with this game, right? So you're going to Diamondbacks game when we win. All right. Let's go slow. Game by game. Game two, we win. Game three, we win. Game four, we lose. Game five, we lose. Game six, we win. So we're taking on the Twins or the Orioles in the World Series. We've got to make sure we win this. Otherwise, this is a failure. It's going to be the Orioles. Beat them in game one. Beat them in game two. Beat them in game three. And we swept them. So we win the ultimate fantasy draft rebuild challenge in our third and final season. So let's close out the video. Guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit different from a fantasy rebuild. I was kind of, it was somewhat simple, but at the same time hard because every team is kind of good. Um, you know, and every team could directly sign all the free agents because they have no budgets on, but the AI is a little bit weird. So we did end up getting a win, though, uh, after getting two over last year of a simulation. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the content, leave a like, subscribe, comment on some more videos, check out my social in the description. Let me know some other games you want to see me play. And uh, yeah, but that means you guys take care. Hope you all soon.